How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be growing on paper towels and comparing that growth to a hydroponic medium called micromats that is also made from wood. So stay tuned for the video. Okay guys, we're going to be comparing two different growing mediums, paper towels and micro mats. Now one thing that both of these mediums have in common is that they are both made from trees. Outside of that though, there are quite a few differences, so let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons for each one of these groups. So starting with our paper towels. The pros for the paper towels is that you can find them basically anywhere. They're sold in convenience stores, grocery stores, hardware stores, basically all kinds of stores will sell paper towels, which means most everybody has access to them. The second pro to paper towels is that they are very low in cost depending on the brand that you go with. For example, I'm using brawny paper towels and I'm doing two layers of two ply paper towels and it's costing me 18 cents to fill up this entire 1020 tray from Bootstrap Farmer. The third great thing about paper towels is that you can kind of make your own grow medium. So depending on whatever kind of tray you guys have, even if you're using something like a plate, is that you can kind of just mix and match paper towels use maybe just two sheets, four sheets, whatever you wanna do really to make your own grow medium on whatever you're growing on. Now let's talk about the cons for paper towels. So the first major con for paper towels is depending on the brand, your water retention can vary quite a bit. For example, if you're going with like a one ply paper towel and depending on the brand again, it can like hold a decent amount of water or it's gonna hold like no water whatsoever. The second thing that is a con for the paper towels is that the roots can kind of struggle to penetrate and sometimes that causes issues around germination. Now again, this is very brand specific. We've only tested out a few brands and some have done well and some have not done so well. So we're gonna do some more tests in the future to see what works best for all the generic standard brands that are found most throughout the US. So the third major con for the paper towels is that they are not meant to be a grow medium. So depending on the brand again, there can be some questionable additives. And something that actually somebody brought up in a comment on an old video that we did on paper towels is, is that if you're using recycled paper towels, you have no idea what kind of stuff that paper towel could have been used to absorb, such as oil or some kind of chemical or anything like that, and then recycled and then created into paper towels that's okay to wipe stuff off your counter with, but not necessarily safe to be used as a grow medium. So this also goes for brand new paper towels. Sometimes they can use like bleach or chlorines or other questionable ingredients in them. So be sure to try to do a little bit of research into the brand that you're gonna be using. For this brawny paper towels, I honestly kind of forgot to look into it a little bit though, but I'm gonna trust that everything's good and I'll do some research down the line. I'll let you guys know. The last major thing that could be a struggle with paper towels is that if you're using a slotted tray, like we are with these bootstrap farmers, trays whenever it comes to time to harvest because these roots haven't really had anything to grab onto whenever you try to harvest this paper towel may start pulling up and it can make harvesting quite a challenge the best thing to get over that though is just to have a really sharp knife and a little bit of patience and you can generally get through it pretty quick now let's go ahead and move on to the micro mats okay so now the pros for the micro mats number one these have actually really decent water retention. Now, something you have to be cautious of whenever you're watering these for the first time is that they tend to warp, and if you don't have it placed exactly where you want it, it's actually going to lead into something that I'm gonna talk about in the cons, which is that it can tear easily. So you wanna make sure that you have this placed in the right spot, add some water to this, and then it does have really great water retention at that point. The second thing that's really great about these is that they are pre-cut for the 10, 20 trays. Now, if you're using a different tray, such as one of like these sprouting trays from Amazon, you'll have some issues with this and you'll have to kind of go back and chop it yourself to make sure that it can actually fit the tray. But if you're using the generic 1020 trays that are widely available in the gardening uh, niche, in the gardening, what's the word? Section? Sector, in the gardening sector, I couldn't find the word for it. But if you're using the 1020s that are commonly available in the gardening sector, then you're gonna have a great time because this is what these are made for. The third pro for these micro mats is that they are quite sustainable since these are made from trees and they're harvested from sustainably harvested trees. Uh, that does make a nice bonus point to this. Now let's talk about the cons. The number one con for this, like I said when I was talking about water retention, is that they can tear very easily. If you would just try to reposition this within the tray or something like that, it will just basically fall apart. It's like soggy toilet paper, so you have to be very cautious of wherever you set this and once you add water to it, you just kind of leave it alone and you don't touch it. 
Now, this is also something that is a bit of a struggle during the harvesting stage because if you pull too hard on those crops while you're holding them to cut, then you can actually tear out some of that medium and then you have to just kind of fight around it a little bit. So that's just something to be very cautious of with this growing medium in particular. Now, the second con for these micro matte paper towels is that once you add some water to them, they do begin to ripple, like I said in the beginning. So you have to be really cautious about that and you kind of have to help ease this. So you have to take a little bit more care during the first time you add water. You spray it a little bit, make sure it's straight, spray it a little bit and it'll slowly expand out and get itself into position and you just kind of tap it and have to work it into place just a little bit better. Now the third con for the micro mats is that the roots again struggle to penetrate this. Since this is a wooden fiber mat and there is actually no perforation whatsoever in this. So one thing that we have noticed is that the roots can actually kind of fight. They have to really fight to get themselves into this growing medium, which can cause inconsistent germination. And overall, you can generally get a lower harvest weight because of that. Another major con for the micro mats is that they have a relatively high cost for grow mediums. For example, one of these sheets, whenever we bought it in the 50 pack like we did, breaks down to $1.45 per tray just to use this grow medium. Now if we compare that against something like hemp or a cocoa coir, generally most other grow mediums are about a dollar or below. So that is something that you're paying a very high price for something that does have quite a few cons compared to some other grow mediums out there. And then the very last con is also something that we had as a con with the paper towels is that if you are using these slotted trays you're gonna have a bit of a struggle during the harvesting stage because these roots don't really have anything to grab into. And whenever you go to harvest, sometimes this medium will lift up and especially this one in general will also begin to tear a little bit. So it's just something you have to use a little bit of extra caution against. So that is it for a quick overview of the pros and cons for each one of these growing mediums. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and seed all of these trays with 25 grams of purple top white glove turnips because it is a crop that grows incredibly quick it's very beautiful and it tastes amazing. So I'm really excited to see how that's actually gonna do, trying to penetrate its way into these growing mediums. So I'll see you guys in just a moment once I've seeded all four of these trays. So you guys can see that one of the issues with paper towels is that it's very uneven. You can see that I've got like these high congestion areas, which is gonna cause problems down the line if there was some kind of issue with airflow or anything like that. But since we have really strong airflow in this room, I don't see this being an issue but it does just make it uh, a little bit wonkier of a grow. So you can see on the micro mats how much more even it's actually becoming since it doesn't have the crazy ridges like the paper towels do. I mean, just looking at these side by side, you can see this little high spot right here in this micro mat and right here and how it kind of congregates on both sides of that. But compared to our paper towels, it's a pretty huge difference in those little sectors that happen. So I'd say that is a pro of this medium, is that it's a little bit easier to use than the paper towels, but does it justify the cost? Okay, I've seeded all four of these trays with the purple top white globe turnips. And what I need to do now is just add a, <coughs> add a little bit more water to all of these. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do that. Now what I wanna do is I want this to be saturated so that we get good germination, but not overly saturated so that I create stagnant water because that will lead to like a stinky smell and eventually almost like a mildew, which could turn into mold down the line. So I think that's pretty good for both of those. Now let's go over here. And then our last tray. I will say the one thing that I dislike about all of these mediums, specifically I think even more so on the micro mats, is that with a medium like cocoa coir, I can really tell how much water has been added by the coloration of the actual medium itself. Versus with these, especially the micro mats, they always say that kind of yellow color and they never really tell me like, hey, I'm getting a lot darker to let you know that this has now got the right amount of water. Whereas with the paper towels, you can kind of see it because it almost becomes um, transparent, more transparent. So that's something that at least you get a little bit of visual indication of on the paper towel trays, but not again so much on the micro mats. All I have left to do now is get a tray added on top of this with some weight. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna randomize the stacking order just a little bit. So I'm gonna do micro mat on the bottom, paper towel just above it, micro mat above that, and then paper towel on top. And the reason I'm doing this is it's gonna randomize a little bit how the weight is dispersed throughout all of these trays. 
I'm gonna make sure I push this down nicely because one thing you need to make sure you do with the paper towel specifically, I'll raise this up and show you, is that these paper towels on the side like to, oh wow, that is like hanging on there because it's wet. I'll see that there's a con right there. <laughs> But uh, these paper towels do bunch up on the sides, so if you're not pressing this all the way down, then it's not really putting pressure on the seeds like you want it to. So again, I'm gonna kind of get it pushed down on the corners mainly, and I'm gonna grab me two seven pound pavers because I actually don't have my 15 pound pavers out here. You know what, I'll kind of, I'll do it like this. Bam, so now I've got weight put on top of all of these and I'll see you guys over the entire germination process. We're gonna take a look at these each day to see how they've gone uh, throughout the germination. And then eventually we're gonna see how these actually make it all the way to harvest day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, we are on day one of this germination. You'll have to excuse my hair because I just got back from mountain biking not too long ago, but let's go ahead and take a look at our germination across all of these trays. So the top tray is our paper towel tray and you guys can see that Got a little bit of uh, these seeds sticking, so I'm just gonna swipe them across the bottom here and try to get those knocked back in. Overall though, we're getting some great germination on this one. Let's see the one below it. So the micromats is looking really strong too, so we do have some clingers here as well. So a technique I like to do is uh, the crisscross tippy tap is what I like to call it, crisscross tippy tap. And generally what I would do is I would actually leave all these stacked and just kind of lift them up and spray into them but for getting a visual representation, it'd be nice to kind of pull these apart and take a look here. So we're slightly messing up the germination, but that's okay. So taking a look at all of these, I am seeing germination across the board. I'm seeing a lot of these, uh, the first root that pops out, which is the radical, um, is looking really great. I'm seeing a lot of them actually beginning to dive down into the medium. As you can see, they're kind of arching upwards. They're doing that little U shape and sending that root straight down, which is what we want. And overall, I'm very happy. It looks like the um, two paper towels has retained its moisture really quite well. And we're getting some really solid germination on both of those. Now looking at our micro mats. Again, I'm seeing a lot of great germination. It seems like the clusters were the ones that haven't germinated as strongly on both of the groups. But overall, I'm still seeing a lot of great germination here and all of these are doing the same thing. They're all doing a little U-shape and dipping downwards trying to get into that growing medium. And overall, I think that we're getting pretty decent germination. Now remember, this is only for day one, so there's not gonna be a whole lot happening. What we're really gonna be seeing is on days two and three, like some really crazy strong germination should be happening about then. So all I have to do now is I'm just gonna get some water added to all of these. So I'll probably just give these a nice little light mist. And again, we don't want to go too heavy because then we'll create issues with uh, stagnant water kind of sitting in the tray and that is not what we want. We just want these to stay nice and humid and be able to encourage them to break out of those uh, seed holes. Bam, get my first tray back on top. Trays on top, get my bricks. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another update. Okay, we are on day two of this paper towel versus micro mat grow comparison. So let's take a look at our growth. I've already removed the bricks from the top and removing the top tray, I can see that we do have a few clingers still, but for the most part, we've gotten rid of most of all of these clinging on. So I'm just gonna kinda try to get this knocked off, put this into a bare spot, hopefully. And then let's try to tap off anything else. Now let's see if this separates pretty easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the micro mat tray below. I have never in my entire life seen that many seeds stick to a single tray. Wow, that was pretty crazy. Is it coming off? No, not really. I think you're gonna have to do my trick idea with the arugula where you spray the seed stuck to the tray. Yeah, so we're just gonna leave that for now. All right. Well, taking a look, I mean, what that tells us immediately is I would say 95% of these have not dug down into the micro mat grow medium itself. And the reason I know that is because they're all sticking to the top instead of digging down into the bottom there. So let's take a look at our uh, second paper towel tray. So lifting up our second pa paper towel tray, we have a small section, I would say about maybe 5% of this tray that is kind of hanging on to the top tray still. But as for the bottom, we're seeing that a lot of these appear to be digging down into the paper towel medium itself. Now let's check the second micro mat. 
Man, okay, so the second micromat is experiencing a similar issue with a lot of them just sticking to this uh, top tray. So again, they're not really digging down into that medium. What I will do is just to make this pretty easy, I'm going to water everything uh, while it's still pretty much stacked. So again, I wanna give these guys a nice watering so that they don't dry out, but not so much that it creates issues with disease or mold. What I'm gonna do with this is just kind of spray that medium pretty good and then also hit the top. That should be pretty good there. So it seems like the paper towels so far are doing a better job in uh, sticking down into the medium than the micro mats are. And the last one. Again, giving it some water, but not so much that it creates issues. I really don't like all these guys sticking to the top. Well, that is it for today. Hopefully by tomorrow, most of these have dug themselves down into the medium because on day three, we really want these to be going into blackout. And if none of these have really dug down into the medium, that's not going to be achievable. I'm gonna put my top tray back on, get my two weights and set those on top and get this put back onto the shelf and I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with some better news. Okay, we are on day three of this micro mats versus paper towels trial and let's go ahead and take a look at all this germination and see where we're standing. So looking at our top tray, this is our paper towel tray. The immediate good news I'm seeing is that we have very little um, of these sprouts kind of sticking to the top, which is really nice. That means most of these have dug down into the medium. So what I need to do is probably wipe this off in just a second. So taking a look at our germination, this is very consistent, very great. We do have one little patch right here uh, that appears to have slower germination or probably, let's just see. Yeah, just some of these guys are just sitting on top of each other. So that might be a little problem area uh, as this continues to grow. But overall, I mean, I'm very happy with the growth across all of this tray. It looks very healthy, happy. We've gotten rid of most of the seed holes. So this is just about ready for blackout. In fact, I'd probably put this tray into blackout today. Taking a look at our micro mat tray. So we're still experiencing this issue with the uh, the little sprouts just hanging on here. I mean, there's nothing else I could really do at this point other than just kind of knock them off and drop them back in, which is pretty disappointing considering this medium is $1.40 per mat, but it is what it is. All right, let me get this set aside. So taking a look at our germination on the micro mats. Again, I'm seeing some pretty good germination across the board. They do seem to be further behind. I'm seeing a lot more brown, which tells me that I'm seeing a lot more of those seed holes still stuck to the top of the cotyledons. But as for driving them down into the medium itself, I'm still seeing a good chunk of this that just hasn't really been able to go down into uh, the grow medium itself. I do feel like some of this over here, yeah, like some of this is now beginning to stick into the growing medium, so that is nice, but you can see we're clearly behind compared to our paper towels. So let's check our second paper towel tray. Again, really great, very little sticking right there. Let me go ahead and get this one out of the way. And yeah, same issue with the micro mats. Wow, that is a lot sticking there. Mm. So at this point, I mean, I just gotta kinda knock all these guys off. In fact, I pretty much doubt that those are going to grow. Okay, so taking a look side by side. So far, I am extremely happy with these paper towel trays. Um, they have been able to drive themselves down into the medium. They've germinated really quite well. It seems like this top one is the furthest ahead. We're seeing a lot of the seed holes removed and I didn't notice hardly any more sticking to the top of the tray um, for the tray that was above it, which is really great. That means that a lot of these have dug themselves down into the uh, medium itself, which is the paper towels. As for the micro mats, again, we're seeing these huge chunks where uh, the seeds weren't able to actually dig down into the medium and instead they just kind of stuck to the top tray, which is fairly disappointing because this is now day three of the germination process and these guys should all be really driven down into that medium by now. So what I'm going to do is uh, get some more water added and I'll stack these up for one additional day. That's all I can give these micro mats. Uh, I can give them one more day to try to get themselves rooted into this tray. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow for blackout because these two paper towels are ready to go into blackout most likely today, but we're just gonna do it tomorrow to keep this consistent with the micro mats. So I'll see you guys then. All right, we are on day four of this paper towel versus micro mat grow. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of this germination, see how it's actually looking. 
So looking at our top tray, this is the paper towel. I am noticing a little bit of dry out on this side over here. So I think that we slightly underwatered this last night, but as for the overall germination and growth, this looks incredibly great. Uh, there are some spots in the middle where I'm seeing slower germination, but I would say about 90% of this tray has germinated really quite well. And taking a look at our first micro mat tray, I'm noticing that we're no longer sticking to the bottom of them. So hopefully these guys have um, actually started to root well. And the reason I got silent is because I noticed a mold spot. So you can tell that this is mold and not root hairs because root hairs are usually stemming off of the base of a plant, whereas this webbing right here is going all within and out of the canopy. And I know that that is actually a type of mold. So that should actually go away as soon as we get in this into some better airflow. But it is good to realize that I'm seeing mold on two parts of this tray. So let me get a little towel because there's probably going to be some seed holes stuck to the bottom of this. Yes. All right, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and wipe all these guys off. And you can see how many of the seed holes we were able to get off, which is great. So our second paper towel tray is looking very strong. I'm not seeing any mold like I saw on the micro mat tray. And this one does look like it retained its water much better than the uh, top one. And so we still have some grouping from the micro mats on this very last micro mat tray. So I'm just, all this, I no longer want to go back into there. So I'm gonna try to just knock it onto this towel to be knocked out into the trash. Okay, so I cleaned that off as kind of best as I could. And you can see, we have to kind of just toss these guys into the trash because if I drop them back in there, they're not really going to grow. Uh, they're just sitting on top of the grow medium. Okay, so let's take a look at all of these side by side. Again, I'm very happy with the paper towel trays. I can see how tall the crop is. It looks really healthy and happy. Again, this side over here did get a little dried out, but that's probably because this is maybe the one next to the fan. Um, so that's just something that kind of happens if you position your tray right next to a fan. As for the germination and everything, it looks really great. I'm happy with the height, um, and I see that we've removed about 90% of our seed holes, which is incredible. Onto this micro mat tray right here, you can see the difference in height, how short these really are compared to the paper towel trays over here. Um, the germination is pretty decent, uh, but overall, I mean, it's just, it's the weird where it doesn't seem like it gets really drove down into the medium. Yeah, and if I just kind of touch at it, everything just kind of lifts up. So I'm not going to mess with that. Hopefully, uh, we're able to get those to kind of drive down throughout the German or the blackout period, but we will see. And on to the second uh, micro mat tray. Again, we have mold in here, but that should go away in the blackout and as soon as it's um, introduced into the light because it'll have much more airflow and it won't be so humid. So overall, right now at this stage in the game, I'm feeling like paper towels are the way to go. They're much cheaper and they've given us some really solid germination so far. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna place everything into blackout, which is simply just taking a black tray and putting it directly on top. Um, actually, I'm gonna invert it. Let me grab a tray and I'll show you. So I'm gonna take a standard uh, no hold tray and I'm just gonna place it on top. So the reason that we're putting these into blackout is that it allows the crop just to stretch a little bit and makes for an easier harvest. So again, I'm going to go ahead and get all these watered, put the trays on top, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another update when it's time to put these into the light. Okay, we are on day five of this micro mats versus paper towel grow trial. And what I'm going to do now is remove all of these from blackout. And these have all now had 24 hours in complete blackness. So starting over here on the paper towel side, Again, I'm seeing very great germination across all of these trays. The cotyledons seem like they're ready to begin opening up. And I think that both of these trays are actually ready to go into the light uh, today. The only thing I am noticing is there's one little section right here that seems to have had a uh, poor germination. And I wonder if that's maybe a part that stuck to the uh, top lid whenever it was germinating and then dropped down later. Never really had a chance to kind of get um, seeded very well. And if you look over here too, I'm also seeing a little spot of mold. So that's just good to be aware of um, that we are seeing that. So uh, that should hopefully begin to go away as soon as we introduce this into the light and into um, better airflow because it has been trapped uh, for several days now not receiving nice airflow. So our second paper towel tray is looking much better than the first. Um, I'm not seeing any spots that look very inconsistent. There is slower germination here and a little spot right here that is slower to germinate. But other than that, this tray looks perfect and I'm ready to get this into the light today. Now onto our micro mats. These look very inconsistent. You can see that there's big pockets where the growth just isn't well. 
And actually right here, I am seeing a massive spot of mold. And I believe that is one of the groups that just probably stuck to the top tray and then dropped down and now it's beginning to rot. And actually over here, I'm seeing another very, very bad spot of mold. And that's actually probably some of the thickest mold I've seen in quite a while. So it's good to realize that on the micro mats, I'm seeing some big old chunks of mold and actually right here in the middle, there's a little bit more mold. So this whole thing probably needs to be treated, yeah. Right here there's mold, right here there's mold, and right here there's mold. So there's quite a few spots of mold on this one. And here's some mold. And I don't believe I'm seeing any right there. As for the micro mats, both of these are looking very haphazard in their growth. I'm not very happy with either one of these. I'm excited to see if we can get some actual growth out of these now that these are gonna be introduced into light. But what I need to do is I need to actually treat these. So I'm gonna use a little bit of an antifungal spray and kind of treat the little mold spots just a little bit. Just to hopefully kind of deter that. And we are going to get these placed into the light today. So that should kind of finalize any signs of mold or anything. So what I will be doing now is I'm going to place all four of these trays into the light, which means we're also going to begin bottom watering this. I like to add nutrients after they've been in the light for a little bit. That way I don't add nutrients too soon because we can actually stunt the growth if we do that. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and get all these placed into the light. And I'm hoping that this little bit of airflow too is going to help knock out a lot of this mold that we're seeing on these. Since these are still pretty moist, I'm going to give them just a very light watering, probably about half a cup uh, to maybe a cup throughout this entire day. And I will see you guys throughout the rest of this grow to see how this turns out. Okay guys, we are on day six of this paper towel versus micro mat test. And I have to say, I have looked at all these trays and I think today we're actually going to end this experiment for the main reason that on these micro mat trays, we are having a really big breakout of mold happening on several spots throughout these trays. And I just no longer want this in our grow space. So these two trays have to go. And since I'm ending these two trays, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the experiment here because the paper towels have done really quite well. So let's go ahead and kind of recap everything that's happened so far. So between both of these mediums, we did struggle to get them to root down into the growing medium, but we did see on the micro mat side that there was a lot more struggle happening on those throughout the entire duration of the germination process. They were basically sticking to the tray above it and not really digging down into the medium below. And I think that's why we have so much mold happening throughout these trays is because they did such a poor job digging down into the medium or not being able to dig down because it's woven so tightly that all this ended up dying on the surface in these big chunks, and that's why we have these big outbreaks of mold. Now the big downside here is that this is $1.46, I believe, per mat per tray. So that's a huge cost to have this kind of failure on such a strong growing crop. Now let's talk about the paper towels. So looking at both of these, we have really solid growth. There is one little spot over here that we noticed yesterday that does have a tiny, tiny bit of mold. But other than that, throughout this entire tray, it looks really great. There is a little spot right here where they um, have slightly died off. And I think that's because they probably stuck to the top of the tray right there and then fell back in, didn't have a chance to get into that growing medium and therefore just kind of died on the surface from dehydration. As for the rest of the, the germination and the growth throughout the tray, I have to say it looks really great. For being paper towels and something that we didn't put a whole lot of effort into and it also being extremely cheap at about 18 cents, per tray, I'm very happy with the growth, especially considering the growth compared to a much more expensive actual hydroponic growing medium. So I do wanna take this all the way to harvest day, but I'm not gonna show you guys that because I think it's gonna be a pretty standard harvest. What we did notice overall for the paper towels is that there was a little bit of slower germination in some areas. And again, I think that's the areas that kind of stuck to that top tray a little bit and didn't do as good of a job getting rooted down into the growing medium, but overall, I am very, very happy with the growth on both of these trays. All right, so that is the end of this experiment. What I will do now is I'm gonna keep playing with paper towels because I think that they are really quite promising as a growing medium. Again, my biggest concern with them though is the additives and there's not a whole lot of 
um, information out there that's readily available on each paper towel brand about what kind of additives are within the paper towels themselves. So that's something I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research on to find out and make sure that this is actually completely food safe and that this is gonna be a good idea. As for micro mats, this is an issue that we've noticed with them from the beginning and we're gonna continue to play around with these to hopefully get better results but I'm just not seeing what I could have done better here. I mean, I kept the medium moist, but not so moist that it caused issues. And again, they just, for some reason, did not want to drive themselves down into this medium. And especially being a crop that does root very aggressively, I'm surprised that it had such a struggle throughout the entire, I think it was almost three full days where it was sticking to that top tray which is pretty gnarly. I'm going to keep experimenting with micro mats because again, like I said, we have a bunch of it and I'd like to figure out how to get good grows out of it. We've heard people having success with it, but we've also seen a lot of people that are running into the similar issues that we are. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Our Instagram and our Facebook are both at OnTheGrow Farms and our website is www.onthegrow.net. Thank you so much. Have a great day and keep on believing.